Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another new video where we're about to dive into some shocking news that's sending shockwaves through the financial world. The average 30-year mortgage rate in the United States has just surged past 7.7%. This marks the highest level we've seen since December 2000. The situation is more dire than ever, and everyone is left wondering how this housing market remains stable in the face of such staggering interest rates. But it gets even more intriguing. What initially started as a minor annoyance has now evolved into one of the most ominous asset bubbles in the history of finance. The story of how we got here not only sheds light on the future, but also raises some serious red flags about the stability of our economy. Now, to truly understand the gravity of the situation, we need to step back in time and take a closer look at the historical context. You might have seen charts depicting housing prices throughout history, but these often overlook a critical factor inflation. Inflation can't be underestimated. A house bought for $2,000 in the year 2000 is equivalent to a whopping $356,000 in today's dollars in 2023. It's not as big a gain as it may seem. To gauge the bubble accurately, we must adjust for inflation. Enter the inflation-adjusted Case-Shiller Index. This chart, without boring you to tears, reveals the real picture of overpriced homes, free from the illusion of a depreciating dollar. And we've not only surpassed the last housing bubble, which was a monumental event in U.S. history, but we've gone even further into the realm of overvaluation since 2012. So, what makes me so sure that we're heading for a housing crash that could surpass 2008? The answer lies in history and interest rates. After the year 2000, we witnessed a gradual decline in interest rates, setting the stage for the 2008 bubble. But that's not the end of the story. Following the 2008 bubble burst, the Federal Reserve continued to push rates to record lows. From late 2011 to today, the real price of a home, adjusted for inflation, has soared by a whopping 66% outside of the 2008 surge. We've never seen an acceleration like this before, and history tells us it's often followed by a crash. But if you're still not convinced, there's another piece of evidence that seals the deal. Most buyers and investors use the 30-year fixed mortgage, which is closely tied to the 10-year treasury rate. This financial instrument dictates mortgage rates. The 10-year treasury note is like a special type of government, IOU, and the interest rate it pays currently sits at 4.5%. However, Things get really interesting when you look at the two-year treasury note, where the interest rate is a higher 5.2%. The government is paying you more interest to borrow your money for just two years, rather than 10. This discrepancy tells us that something in the market must give. But before we reveal the shocking twist in this story, take a moment to support our channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Your support means the world to us. Now, let's circle back to our story. It's clear that the housing market is heavily influenced by interest rates, and the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is linked to the 10-year treasury rate. Normally, you'd expect the interest rates to rise as governments borrow for longer durations. But when the yield curve inverts, it flips the script. It's like a fire alarm going off in the world of finance, and it's shouting, recession is on the horizon. And, trust me, it's a warning we can't afford to ignore. Let's take a quick history lesson. Going back to the late 70s, every time that line on the chart dipped below zero, signaling an inversion, a recession. This pattern held true in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, the infamous 2008 crisis, and the unprecedented events of 2020. And guess what? If we zoom in on our chart from 2022, it reveals something even more worrisome. We've plunged even deeper into the inversion, and now, finally, we're beginning to see a cautious climb upwards. Now, you might be tempted to think, well, this climb is a good sign, right? Maybe we've dodged the recession bullet. But here's where things get real interesting. The most challenging phase typically starts after the inversion is over, and the line moves past zero, entering positive territory. Just look at 2008. The real economic turmoil didn't rear its head until years after the inversion had done its dance. The Federal Reserve, or the Fed, is playing a high-stakes game. They're pushing interest rates to the absolute limit. However, the bond market is not playing by their rules. In fact, the 30-year yield is strikingly similar to the 10-year yield. 
It's a clear signal that investors are bracing themselves for some serious inflation down the road. Think about it. If those rates were tempting, rational investors would be all over the 30-year treasury. But they're not, and that's because we're navigating through a fog of uncertainty. This is where it gets intriguing for the 10-year to stand a chance. It has to offer something pretty attractive, something that seems outlandish compared to the 30-year rate. Now, I won't delve into the intricacies here, but what's critical is that these treasury curves are screaming one thing investors expect high and enduring inflation. If that holds true, it means the Fed has to raise rates to combat inflation. For inflation to surge once more, you need the Fed to throw in the towel. And for the Fed to surrender, well, you need a crisis. And my friends, that crisis is looming large on the horizon. It's the housing market. Rates, you see, are like gravity in the financial world. And right now, we're venturing into uncharted territory. When something inevitably breaks, it's going to bring down the colossal house of cards that's been under construction since 2012. The bubble we used to talk about? It's going to seem like child's play compared to the storm that's brewing. But before we wrap up, let's talk about the fallout of this impending housing market crash on homeowners and investors. This isn't just about interest rates going through the roof and potential economic hardships. It's about real people and smart real estate investors. Homeowners, when interest rates rise, those with adjustable rate mortgages, or those considering refinancing might find themselves grappling with higher monthly mortgage payments. This could spell more foreclosures and a slew of homes hitting the market at bargain prices. And for investors, especially those who believe that the property market would always soar, they're in for a wild ride. As property values plummet, they could find themselves holding assets worth less than their debts and seeing their rental income dwindle. So, there you have it, my friends. The financial tempest is gathering strength, and it's time to prepare for the storm. Make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you found this revelation as riveting as we did. Stay tuned for more mind-blowing updates right here on Wealth Boss.